What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing, building, and giving you guys my first impressions on my brand new street legal electric mountain bike by Van Powers. Let's get into it. We got some metal pedals. That's nice. And here's our thumb throttle. two of the same prongs on the bottom and then a special one on top. All right, there it is, the Man of Day by Van Powers, fully built and ready to go. Let's give you guys a first impression test ride. All right, so you turn on the bike by hitting the battery button right there and clicking the mode button one time. And by default, it turns on to pedal assist mode one. So let's get All right, so my first impressions of the bike is that it rides very smooth and I really like the shifter on this. It has a eight speed Shimano drivetrain. So it comes with five levels of pedal assist, which I'll be going through each level for you guys and showing you what you can expect with a bike like this. And it also has a eight speed Shimano shifter on the right side. So I've never had a bike with a thumb throttle, but I'm liking it so far. It's pretty nice and powerful. Brakes are good. All right, we're currently in the highest gear and we're pedaling on 
mode one, and we're going about 11 miles an hour. So now let's bump it up to mode two. So that just made the pedaling slightly easier. And it's super easy to pedal at this speed because of the high gear ratio on the bike. 15 miles an hour isn't that bad at all. You can see my legs aren't really moving that much. At least they're not moving that fast. Let's bump it. All right, in mode three, it's very nice. Super easy. But it seems like that's where the pedaling stops, is mode three, even in the highest gear. The initial start off the line is not jerky at all. It gets you up to speed very smoothly, which I like. Some bikes are touchy on the bottom end, but this one builds you up to it slowly. So right now I'm pedaling at 19.3, miles an hour and I'm in the highest gear ratio on pedal assist mode three and I can pedal more I can pedal just fine at this speed and I actually get a workout let's try pedal assist four. Oh yeah this one you're basically ghost pedaling, even in the highest gear. Which isn't bad, but you don't really feel any resistance in mode four at the highest gear because you're going about 23 miles an hour. So I assume mode five is probably nothing different than that. The fat tires that come with the bike handle bumps with no problem. And the front RST suspension is nice and cushy as well. Another thing I notice is the seat, is how cushy the seat is. It's actually not that bad of a seat. It comes with the man today. And this is a nice, comfortable cruise. So Van Power sent me out this bike to build, test, and review for you guys. So if you're new to this channel, go ahead and consider subscribing and leave a like if you enjoyed the video because I'm gonna be making more videos just like this all throughout the next year and so on and so forth. Yeah, dude, this bike handles nice. Even with the fat tires, it doesn't seem too wobbly or unstable. It's nice and planted. It also comes with a little bell, which is a nice little add-on. So, seems like pedal assist mode three is where I wanna stay while at the highest gear on the Shimano drivetrain. I can pedal comfortably, and I actually feel like I'm getting a workout, and I'm going 18, 19 miles an hour. Super comfortable ride. Very happy with the bike. If you guys wanna know any more information on the bike, you can find it down below with my link. I really like this thing is super lightweight, not heavy at all. It's a hardtail electric mountain bike with five levels of pedal assist, a 750 watt Bafang hub motor, an eight speed Shimano drivetrain with paddle shifters and a thumb throttle as well as hydraulic disc brakes. 
which is pretty amazing. I'm gonna do a top speed test here on this road real quick. Whoa. All right, gonna turn pedal assist all the way down to zero. And we're going to do a top speed test with the thumb throttle only. Here we go, three, two, one. Ooh, very weak off the line. And it slowly picks up. We're at 999 watts. 25 miles an hour, 26. 27. Twenty seven point seven miles an hour. So with pedaling, you can get up to twenty eight miles an hour, which is sweet for a bike like this. This is a very comfortable ride and it has a nice king meter LCD. Oh, don't don't do no hands. Bump it up to pedal assist four. getting a little tired. Now I'm doing twenty three like nothing. Except in mode four, in mode four, you're also ghost pedaling. So anything after pedal assist level three in the highest gear on the Shimano, you're basically going to be ghost pedaling or using just the thumb throttle. But with that being said, I really enjoy mode three at the highest gear because there's no ghost pedaling and I can actually pedal comfortably. So I actually feel like I'm getting a workout. This is nice. Let's check out Joe's Bayou. So here's some different terrain on the bike. This is like rocks, grass, and sand and it handles it without a problem. And mode one is actually not bad at all. But in a place like this, when you don't need any pedal assist and you just wanna scoot around easily without sipping on any power you can easily switch to the lowest gear pedal around Ooh. So one thing I did notice about the Manaday when it was shipped to me is the derailleur was slightly bent. So I can't get all the way down to the lowest gear without the chain acting a little weird and kind of missing a gear. That's, that's one gripe I had. And then also, they also didn't explain how to put the thumb throttle on. I had to figure out that I had to unscrew the grips with the brackets here on each end, which will slide it off easily and then loosen the brakes, take those off. And then from there you can put on the throttle. But overall, I'm super happy with this bike. Everything about it is, is awesome. I like it a lot. I love the frame. It's super lightweight. The fat tires eat up bumps. The front suspension, not bad at all. We have Logan disc brakes on the front and the rear. 750 watt Bafang hub motor with an eight speed Shimano drivetrain and paddle shifters on the right side, as well as a thumb throttle and five levels of pedal assist. I don't know what more you could ask for. This bike is sick. If you guys want to know any more information about it, I will leave the link down below in the description. And if this is the first time you're seeing one of my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel because I'm going to be making more videos just like this all throughout the year and the future. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.